Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to time remap your Valorant clips. So the first thing you want to do is extend your layer. So mine's on track one. So you can hold alt on your keyboard and use the scroll wheel. And if I just scroll up over here, you can see it extends. Now, if that does not work, what you can do is just grab this bar just here and manually pull it up like so. So maybe like up to here. This is so we can control the velocity, which is the speed. So I am going to find the points that I'm going to slow down. So it's all going to be normal speed here until it builds up to this part right here. For your clip, it could be when someone fires a gun or maybe when they reload. My character here is firing a gun. So what I'm going to do is press M on my keyboard to place a marker. Now you can place it directly onto the clip or on your timeline. I think it works best if you place it on your timeline. So make sure that your clip has not been selected so I can just click away like that and if I press M it's going to place a marker just here so that's going to be the first point then the second one will be I think it's just across this clip yep right here so right there and I'm going to press M once again I think there is also one more but I'm not going to place a marker let's try and remap using these two points first of all you want to right click this tiny FX box next to your clip you'll see it just here so right click head over to time remapping and select speed. From the very beginning of my clip to the marker, it's going to be at normal speed. And then from this point on, it's going to slow down and then speed it back up. Let me repeat that. So normal speed slows down just here. So in slow motion and then speeds back up, goes back to normal speed until the next shot. So just this one here slows down. So just imagine it's slow around this part and then speeds back up to the normal percentage, which is the normal speed. So first of all, let's place a keyframe. If you just hold control on your keyboard and hover over this bar, so I'm going to hold control, it's going to change into a plus symbol. Just left click here, and it's going to place a keyframe, which is right here. Now you're going to see there are two sides. If you drag the left side, it's going to drag it to the left. If you drag the right, it will take it to the other side. We want it to slow down. So we're going to grab the right side. So just click and drag the right point a few frames ahead so this will depend on your song i'm not using one so just use mine as an example to guide you so i'm just going to leave it somewhere around here and then you want to grab the handle just after the keyframe so not this down here this one here you'll notice that your cursor changes so here you can see it's normal but then as i go over here it changes color so what you want to do is just grab this and drag it down to about maybe five to ten percent let's go let's go maybe five for now and then just let's go now if you take a look at how it looks it's going to look choppy and that's normal because we haven't actually rendered our clip so don't worry too much about that yet we need to make it speed up now so if you just head a few frames ahead so i've quite literally moved my player at about one two three four five frames ahead from the keyframe and we are going to repeat this so hold control let me just zoom in to make it a bit easier so hold control and place another keyframe just here now you want to grab the other side so the right not the left because that's not going to work the right just here so grab that and stretch it out maybe by a few frames like this it depends on your preference as i said then let's go and what you're going to do is grab the other side just here so this bar here click and drag it all the way up until it hits 100 percent and let go okay you can see that my keyframes are kind of like tight so what you can do is just pull it out like that so what have i done so far well, I've made it slow down just here, slow down and then speed it back up. And I was actually going to say to move on to the next marker, but as you can see, it's not in sync with my clip. Since we adjusted the speed of the clip, so, you know, things have kind of moved around. So that's something new that I've also learned. I think the best option is to place it directly on the clip, because if I just place one, let's say here and adjust the percentage it's not going to move so it turns out that is the better option so i'm just going to place it somewhere around here so just there even though there is no point because i already know where it is but i'm going to hold control on my keyboard and place another marker drag the right side to the right like that somewhere around here and then drag this bar down all the way to let's go 10 percent for this one and even though it is a little bit choppy it does give us a preview of what it could look like. I think this keyframe is a bit too long because you can see my character starts to go back behind this wall. So what I'm going to do is just pull it back slightly, maybe around here, just so it's a little bit quicker. So something like that, even though, you know what, just a bit more, why not? Like here. Okay, that's perfect like that. And then I'm going to make it speed up around. Let's go here maybe. So 
hold control, place a marker, stretch it out like that. And then actually we need to make, we need to adjust that again. Cause once I push this side up, all the way to 100 so somewhere around here and then just stretch it out like so it's going to speed back up to its original percentage okay it's time for the important part you want to right click your clip head over to speed slash duration and change the time interpolation from frame sampling to optical flow this will make your clips look smooth so click ok and what you want to do if you want to take a look at how it looks without exporting your clip is if you just head to the start, so just over here to the very beginning, I'm going to press I on my keyboard. This is the start of what I want to render and the end would be just around here. So I'm going to press O at the end. So now this part has been highlighted and what I'm going to do is head over to sequence at the top and select render into out. This will give you a quick preview of how it looks. So not bad at all. So if you are happy with it, then just continue with the edit. You can get rid of these markers simply by right clicking up here and then selecting clear into out. Anyways, that's how you time remap your Valorant clips on Premiere Pro. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.